Hey guys, uh, I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now with a sketchbook video and we will start in a minute. I created this sketchbook spread uh, in love for Eddie Munson, so you will see that in this video. But I just, just wanted to announce a little thing that I do not have on my shop on Etsy. I don't have the link for it in my bio or in my description. And you cannot buy um, these sweet Eddie Munson prints on there. And you also don't get a Corroded Coffin pre-entry ticket with your order. I just wanted to disclaim that you, that you can't do that. Also, if you are like me into um, Eddie and uh, Chrissy, all of that, and the hell chair thing, you can also not buy this one. So don't go into my description. You won't find anything. And yeah, enjoy the video. Hi guys, uh, I'm back, I think. <laughs> uh, it's been quite a while since I've made a video and uploaded it here onto YouTube. Um, I think it's probably about like, it's not quite a year, but it has been a while. And there are a couple of reasons for it, but I'm back now and ba I am back with a Eddie Manson uh, sketchbook spread. If you're still following my Instagram or maybe you're following me on Twitter, you would know that I'm quite obsessed with um, Eddie Munson and Chrissy Cunningham and Stranger Things in general <laughs> right now. And uh, yeah, I've just been leaning into that obsession right now. So I thought it would be maybe fun for me and for you to see me uh, create a full sketchbook spread of Eddie Munson fan art if you're into that. Uh, you probably also saw my intro where I showed you my um, prints I will probably have for my shop about um, Eddie Munson and Corroded Coffin and all that stuff. Yeah, it's really fun for me and a lot of inspiration and I just love it right now. <laughs> um, to get back to the topic why I've been gone, um, there are a couple of reasons for that. First of all, I have gotten a degree. I uh, finished my uh, degree in interior architecture and that was very stressful, like a bachelor, bachelor's thesis. Um, that's a hard word to say for me. Um, it's very hard to create and I spent a lot of time just working away. I There was probably about two months of this last year where I haven't been outside, I haven't been working out, I haven't been <laughs> doing anything besides working for my university degree. And it's done now, it's finished and I'm very proud of myself. I got a very good grade, which is very great. <laughs> and now we're in the midst of trying to move out of the small town we're living in right now. And that's very stressful, but also very exciting to get out and start new adventures and all of that. But because of all of that, I haven't had the time to film videos really. And I just had to make some priorities and getting my degree was my priority. Besides the degree thing and just having exams and trying to work for university, I also had a lot of issues with my hardware and again if you're following my Instagram you would have seen a little bit of the breakdown I had because of my hardware in that case it was um, because of my iPad that was crashing all the time but the reason for YouTube why I had issues is my computer I'm still using it right now it's working okay but it's not made for video editing or anything anymore. I was actually, I had some issues to even export the files I had to create for my degree. And I had to ask my uh, 
my father to export it that was a very um, complicated and very difficult to get it done because this computer is very old and basically doesn't have any storage and it's pretty useless i was hoping i was would be able to edit this video and get it out and it seems okay but i'm very excited that with the help of some lovely people on Kofi, Ko 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 I think it's Kofi because you say, buy me a coffee. Um, <laughs> and with their help and my dad's help and some family and friends and some commissions and uh, here and there, I'm able to purchase a new computer right now. And that would also solve the issue I had with my iPad because um, I at the moment can use my iPad, but it's not very um, reliable. It still glitches sometimes and that's just annoying and I'm afraid because I've lost a lot of artworks I had on there. Some of them were commissions that I have to do again right now. And yeah, that's all a bit much, but I could hook up a tablet to my new computer and that's much more reliable and this computer will cost me the exact same price as a new iPad Pro but it would be able to do so much more than just the iPad can do. Um, yeah so all of that was very difficult for me to produce videos. I was still doing art and I'm still posting so maybe some of you are still um, here from my Instagram. But yeah, and I was thinking about what I should do for my YouTube to give back. And because I'm just obsessed with Eddie Munson, <laughs> I thought that's the perfect idea. Because why not leaning into your obsessions and just doing what is fun for you, right? <laughs> and that also leads me into the next topic that I wanted to talk about. That this last year I've been figuring out more and more that... I am a ADHD head, basically. Um, I think that's a topic that's gotten more popular in this last year and more and more people are realizing that they may have ADHD and I have to put out a little disclaimer here because I am not really diagnosed. I'm just self-evaluating and I can relate to so much about ADHD and what I've read and what I re researched and it wasn't that I was trying to fit ADHD into uh, me or something like that. It was just that I had a lot of struggles and I was trying to fix them. Um, and when I was trying to research how to fix all these struggles I had in my day-to-day -day life, I was always bumping into ADHD stuff. So yeah, I also have a friend who is um, diagnosed since childhood and she says she couldn't imagine what it would be else that's causing the struggles I have in my life. Just starting a task and sticking with it and not just having good ideas for projects but also doing them and doing them to the full extent so you actually um, complete them is something I super struggle with and if I don't get the structure from the outside like for example my degree if I don't get it I will be fucked I'm sorry um, because I have to pay back my student loan and all of that. So I had the pressure from the outside that made me very stressed, but also made me do my job, basically. And for a lot of things, especially like art related things, and because I want to make art my living, it's all about me, right? I don't have the pressure from the outside. I just have to get myself to actually work. And if I don't do it, I only have to be okay with with myself because nobody else is going to sit there and say, oh, I'm, I'm sad you didn't work. <laughs> I, so, I'm sorry, guys. I am not a native English speaker. I swear I'm very... Um, I sound very educated in German, but not in English. <laughs> uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is that I struggle with starting tasks, uh, fulfilling tasks, 
and fulfilling projects and a lot of the time I just sit around and do nothing and I want to do things so bad but because I've set myself up for I don't know I, I put myself a structure that I don't want to follow it and if I don't want to I just don't do it and I'm trying to push myself and be hard on myself and the harder I am the more difficulties I have and that's a cycle that repeats itself and then I have these phases where I'm just so passionate about what I do that I work 24 7 uh, morning day and night and I just can't stop myself I don't want to eat I don't want to do anything else just work on what's making me happy and I'm a little bit in that phase right now. I'm doing videos and artworks and tons of commissions. I'm moving and I don't feel bad about it. I am actually very passionate about all of these things and excited, but I know that if I keep doing that, I'm going to run myself into burnout. So I have to be careful about that. But also, I don't want to get into the phase again where I don't do anything all day long. And that's a struggle that's basically been there all my life and that I'm trying to balance out. What I've learned over these last few weeks is that following my um, happy hormones, if you want to say it like that, so just doing something maybe even at the beginning of the day that makes me super happy and I just just want to do works for me a lot better than this whole philosophy of um, eat the frog first i think that's how you say it that you do the bad thing in the morning so you don't have to do it anymore and you have the rest of the day for fun things and that doesn't work for me what does work for me is start the day with something fun that i enjoy and because i'm already moving i'm already on the go I will be able to do more difficult ta tasks. That, these are like the small things that I realized that help me. If it's ADHD or not, it's actually, it doesn't matter because it helps me. So I don't care how you call it or if I will be um, diagnosed with it soon or not, because these tips really help me. And that's the reason why I did so much Eddie Monson art because I was very obsessed and it actually got me out of like if you want to say an art block because of my degree I wasn't drawing for months basically uh, four months at least if not more I wasn't really drawing and getting into drawing again was so hard for me I just couldn't do it and then I sat down and said to myself, okay, I'm doing Eddie Munson Fine Art. That's the only thing I want to do. The day I finished my degree, the volume two of uh, Stranger Things season four came out. So I watched that. And after that, it was just, I'm, I was devastated. <laughs> Let me say it like that. And uh, from that point on, I was severely obsessed with this character. So yeah, I was just leaning into that. And making fan art and I didn't stop until now <laughs> I'm still doing fan art of him every day but I also do other types of art and I also have commissions again and projects and all that fun stuff so leaning into this obsession I had um, be it because of ADHD or whatever really helped me and not trying to judge myself of what I want to draw because I was sitting there after my break of four months not drawing and thought, oh, you really should start with some studies. Maybe just do some figure drawing or hands or faces. That's the thing you should do right now, right? But I didn't want to do it, so I didn't draw at all because that didn't sound like fun. I wanted to do something fun. And lo and behold, if you do fan art of a humanoid character, you're already doing faces and figure drawing and uh, what else, all of these things, but you're also having fun. And if there's one thing that helps you learn and get better at something, it's having fun with it. And yeah, I think, I don't really know where I want to go with this. I just want to <laughs> say out my thoughts uh, and the struggles I had these last few months. 
I really want this um, YouTube channel uh, to work out and I hope that new hardware will help me with that because that way I won't have the struggle every day to make videos. It came to the point where just one video was so much more work just exporting because it didn't work and all of that. So also here in this situation I know I will make the process of making videos easier for me if it doesn't suck as bad. <laughs> and if that means I will have to upgrade my hardware, uh, so be it, because at some point I should do it. I am on a very good path to make art my professional full-time living and I can't work with um, buggy and broken <laughs> and just bad old hardware. That's just uh, a disaster to come up. And I already had it, so I, I lost my artworks and my commissions and that was a disaster and I had to work back to get all of it again. I think so far I talked about basically everything I wanted to talk about. Um, I don't know if this made any sense because I also uh, ramble a lot if you realize that or not. <laughs> um, just a little um, talk about the art. I was very happy with that first um, portrait I did of Eddie. I'm still very happy about it. It's The reference for it was one of my favorite screen caps from the show and I really wanted to draw that iconic scene where he was leaning over the table after the D&D &D match and looking back at it I hate how that turned out. I like his arms and the hair but the eyes are just so wonky <laughs> and I think after this first uh, sketch, the first portrait, I got a little bit cocky and I thought oh I'm so loose with my wrist or I don't know and the rest of the page gets a bit messier than I would have liked it to be. I wanted to have the scrapbook look basically without it actually being a scrapbook and in the end I think it's maybe a little bit too crowded but it's fine I still like it I still like that initial uh, centerpiece uh, sketch portrait or whatever and I hope you enjoy the art as well I will leave you with some music now because I talked basically about everything I want to talk about the next video is going to be a vlog of me making art and going apartment hunting and all that fun stuff so maybe you're into that and I hope you're having a great day and you're doing well and I see you again soon bye
textual instinct. The fuck? 